this. What do you think of the Inquisition? I just know that you could shake this world to its foundations if you willed it. What do you think of my advisors? Josephine's lovely, and craftier than you'd expect. The Inquisition could not have picked a better ambassador. We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. All's well. How are your charges? Well supplied? Oversupplied. Never thought a mountain pass could seem like luxury. Farewell. Make her be with you. You have begun practicing new magical forms. Interesting. You seem to be drawing energy across the veil. Wisps too simple to be considered spirits. I believe Dorian uses similar magic, as do the Mortalitasi of Navarra. Why did you choose such an esoteric area of study? I hope that studying such magic would help me better understand spirits. While our fight affords little time for formal study, the wise can better themselves even in the midst of battle, perhaps especially then. I hope your new studies serve you well. Did you need anything else? I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Alexius Tranquil. I wish you'd just killed him. He was a decent man once. He deserved to keep his dignity. I hope I don't run into him. That would be more than I could handle. You said Alexius was a mentor of yours. He was my patron, sponsoring me to the higher levels of the Circle of Magi. In return, my successes were his. I had a lot of successes, naturally. Alexius was most pleased. He and I used to talk over Brandy about the corruption. How we could one day make real change in the Imperium. And then he... gave up. He stopped trying. Why did he give up? On a journey to Hosburg, a Darkspawn raid killed his wife and sickened his son. I remember hearing the news. He hadn't been there, you see. Alexius was convinced he could have protected them. And the guilt tore him up. I helped him with his research for a while, and then we... drifted apart. That must have been difficult. Back then, I was furious. I told him to snap out of it, move on. I thought I had all the answers. Later, I regretted my hasty words. But we didn't speak again until he approached me for the Venatori. Too much pride, I suppose. Plus, I was busy drinking. One must have priorities. Was it hard being away from him? It was hard not having a patron, yes. I'm not exactly built to fit in. At any rate, he's fallen so low, I doubt he'll ever get up. Sad. I should go. Naturally. Greetings again, Inquisitor.
I trust everything is well with the mages? There have been a few scuffles with your Templars, but overall, it is going well. I'll leave you to it. A request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? I am able to pursue my duties with optimal efficiency, thanks to Skyhold's present state. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. One day I'm going to read all these books. One day, when I have time. Varric knew where the champion was all along. <laughs> That's the last time we sent Cassandra to interrogate. Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. I'll leave you to your work. I'd like to know more about you, Madame Vivienne. Whatever would you like to know. Your accent's not our legion. Where exactly are you from? I am from the Circle, my dear. One's country of origin rarely matters there. But if you must know, I was born in Wycombe in the Free Marches. I was sent to the Ostwick Circle, but I transferred to Mont Simard while still an apprentice. I'm curious how a circle mage winds up a court here. Nobody winds up at court, my dear. It takes a great deal of effort to arrive there. I caught the eye of Duke Bastien de Ghislaine, an advantageous connection that opened many doors. When the position of Enchanter to the Imperial Court became vacant, I was able to secure it. You're married to the Duke de Ghislaine? <laughs> of course not, my dear. Don't be ridiculous. Marriage is the business of alliance and inheritance. I'm Bastien's mistress. What duties does a court enchanter have? I am tasked with providing assistance to the Empress on arcane matters. Most of my predecessors restricted this to lighting lamps and doing parlor tricks. In such troubled times as these, however, I provide political advice to Her Majesty on the subject of the Mage Rebellion. Honored to represent the College of Herbalists and offer my services as apothecary. My colleague Adan was clear about the worth of your cause. I look forward to assisting him. I look forward to working with you. And are you? I wasn't sure what to think of you people, but recent events have put those doubts to bed. All the mundane needs of Skyhold will be well tended. If you note anything special, let me know. I'm here to serve the cause we must. There is a problem that needs your attention, Inquisitor. I am at your service. What is your evaluation of our supplies? We are groaning with resources. A reflection of your competence and inspiration. Are there others who could come to Skyhold? They are helping now. I have contacted many of our finest, and their influence is not inconsequential. They are not, shall we say, prone to take the field, but we will be well supplied. I take it you're a city elf, not Dalish. It's not a useful identifier. I am an elf, 
I was raised away from the Dalish. No, I do not know their customs. Perhaps that wasn't immediately obvious. It's of little concern. I have skill enough to be evaluated by what I can do. My associates appreciate my work. Where did you receive your training? I studied with Adan after he left the service of the King of Ferelden. Well, when the King was no longer there to serve. Our College of Associates tends to meet informally. I've since been fortunate enough to serve various heads of state. They are all as good as another, truth be told. My skills and contacts are better suited to more imminent need. As you were. Of course, Inquisitor. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, the soldiers say you banished the demons at Adamant and freed the Grey Warden mages. I understand from Sister Leliana that the truth is somewhat more complex, but no less extraordinary. She said that you spoke with a figure in the Fade that seemed to be the soul of divine Justinia. I suspect many of the faithful would like to know what Justinia told you. She helped me remember what happened at the Conclave. The Maker didn't give me the mark on my hand. I was struck in battle. And Andraste didn't send me. The figure everyone saw was Divine Justinia. So, it is as you have always maintained. You must feel quite vindicated. I may not have believed, but part of me always hoped it was true, that I was the Herald of Andraste. Who is to say that you are not? Forget the mark. Forget the figure standing over you as you fell from the Fade. The people needed a sign that in this harsh and unforgiving world, there existed some reason to hope. And they found that in you. That isn't how it works. The evidence for me having some divine mission was proven false. This is the trouble with metaphors and the educated. A farmer cannot understand the truth of the Maker, so he learns that the Maker is a man, but greater. A mage learns the same thing, knows it to be simplistic, and feels clever for realizing it is not literally true. But a metaphor is not a lie. It is a tool to help people understand something beyond them. And we need such a tool. I hadn't thought of it that way. A life of service to the Chantry means learning to share the wisdom of the Maker with all his children. A farmer, a noble, a warrior, and a mage will all see different aspects of the Maker in their lives. They must each hear the story that will reach them, and each of those stories is valid. Now, is there anything I can help you with? Can you tell me how our people are doing? What would you like to know? How are our forces at Skyhold doing? We have many injured. The siege of Adamant was brutal for all involved. Even so, more flock to your banner. They have heard that the Inquisition defeated the legendary Grey Wardens. Your soldiers have been blooded, Inquisitor. They are veterans now. An army in more than just name. Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. With the rift near Crestwood sealed, the villagers have begun rebuilding their homes and lives. The people in the hills of Empreise du Lyon are safe again, thanks to you. They may even plant crops this season. More than that, I cannot say. 
It is a chaotic time for all in Ole and Ferelden. Farewell, revered mother. Be well, Inquisitor. Thank you for saving my life, and giving us a chance to help. I'm mostly studying now, but Hellisma can talk to you. Completed work of whatever they used to call Inquisitor, if you're looking for the commander, he's gone to speak with Seeker Pentagast. You asked for my opinion, and I've given it. Why would you expect it to change? I expect you to keep your word. It's relentless. I can't... You give yourself too little credit. If I'm unable to fulfill what vows I kept, then nothing good has come of this. Would you rather save face than admit... We will speak of this later. And people say I'm stubborn. This is ridiculous. Cullen told you that he's no longer taking Lyrium. Yes, and I respect his decision. As do I. Not that he's willing to listen. Cullen has asked that I recommend a replacement for him. I refused. It's not necessary. Besides, it would destroy him. He's come so far. Why didn't he come to me? We had an agreement long before you joined us. As a Seeker, I could evaluate the dangers. Is there anything we can do to change his mind? If anyone could, it's you. Mages have made their suffering known. But Templars never have. They are bound to the Order, mind and soul, with someone always holding their Lyrium leash. Cullen has a chance to break that leash, to prove to himself, and anyone who would follow suit, that it's possible. He can do this. I knew that when we met in Kirkwall. Talk to him. Decide if now is the time. Make us breath. 
I didn't hear you enter. I... Forgive me. Colin, if you need to talk... You don't have to... <laughs> I never meant for this to interfere. Are you going to be all right? Yes. I don't know. You asked what happened to Ferelden's circle. It was taken over by abominations. The Templars, my friends, were slaughtered. I was tortured. They tried to break my mind and I... <laughs> How can you be the same person after that? Still, I wanted to serve. They sent me to Kirkwall. I trusted my knight commander, and for what? Hmm? Her fear of mages ended in madness. Kirkwall's circle fell. Innocent people died in the streets. Can't you see why I want nothing to do with that life? Of course I can. I... Don't. You should be questioning what I've done. I thought this would be better. That I would regain some control over my life, but... These thoughts won't leave me. How many lives depend on our success? I swore myself to this cause. I will not give less to the Inquisition than I did to Chantry. I should be taking it. You give enough, Cullen. I'm not asking you for more. The Inquisition can be your chance to start over. If you want it to be. I don't know if that's possible. It is. <sighs> All right. I need a moment. Could we speak another time? Welcome. It's good to know we're doing something worthwhile. How's it going? See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. We'll make good use of it. Inquisitors. I'll ask around again the sky. Let me know if you find Thank you. Who guide us into the night? You heard? Of she who stands behind the throne. Who perhaps casts a shadow across it. Nobility. He is quiet behind the noise. The little bottle makes him shake, but he tests the chains. May I ask how things are now that you're more human? It hurts. Everything hurts. Everyone remembers me now. I can only make them miss me for a few heartbeats, but I'm real. More real, anyway. And I understand more than I did. You're still able to sense the feelings of others, aren't you? Yes, I still feel things, flashes of their minds, pain, hurt, all of it. It's not so loud anymore. I make more noise myself, so I don't hear as much, unless I want to. I remember more things, though. It lets me learn. I sometimes see why something I said would bother Cullen. Maybe I'll do it less. Are 
Are you still physically the same, or are you fully human? I was always fully human. I can do everything I could do before, except make people forget. The way I move comes from my mind, not my body. As long as I remember some of the fade, it remains. My body is just like the real Coles, except that he was a mage. I'm not. Why aren't you a mage? I can't know for sure, but the real Cole, his father beat him, killed his mother. His sister might have died, too. I don't know if that was real or what the demon made me think. Then the Templars threw Cole in darkness and starved him, all because he had magic. He thought that if he didn't have magic, I'm what he wanted to be. Him, but normal, so no one would hurt him. Why can't you make people forget you anymore? Because I'm real. The forgetting was for both sides. They weren't frightened by me, and I wasn't hurt by them. Making people forget was a defense against people attacking me, and having what they saw in me stick. Because I'm real, everything sticks. Whatever people think or feel about me, stays. Can you still help people, if you can't make them forget? It's harder. I can't start over if I do it wrong. But seeing me changes them. They know a person wants them to hurt less. That helps. What's the difference between you and a spirit now? Spirits are... They just are. Most of them sense something that interests them and stick to it. They don't remember much. It keeps them pure, but it also keeps them from learning, from growing. I wanted to help people, but I only knew enough to do it in the simplest way. Now I can see more. I also want to hit people a lot. Varric is helping with that. I'll talk to you later. If you like. I'm here. How would you like to get out of here? Maybe do something fun? I don't know. I've never tried. Come on. Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. May I bring a sampling of fine cheeses for you and your guests? I don't eat. Well then, just a bottle of a fine Gislaine White to start. Please enjoy your meal this evening, your worship. He saw me. They all see me. I'm glad you've allowed them to. I don't know if I did. I find people when their pain leaves them open. I ease the pain. I leave, they forget. That was enough for me. Now they remember, and I'm not sure... I... <sighs> Cole? I told you about Reese. The mage who could see me, my friend. My only friend for a long time. Evangeline showed me that Templars could be kind, but even she...
Cole, if this is troubling, we don't have to talk about it. Gentle. You watch me walk into darkness over and over, and you always worry. Thank you. But this isn't about them. It's about... When I found out I wasn't human, when I grew, I lost Reese. I lost my only friend. That's why I was scared about letting all these people see me. That's why I laughed. You're laughing at yourself? Yes. This world taught me that changing means losing your friends. But now I know that doesn't have to be true. I have enough self to know that what I felt was foolish. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? It's another good step, Cole. I might like being human. What do you think I'll learn next? I'm here. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. From Haven's Fire come we the able to I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Something I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. We saw so many Red Templars at the assault on Haven. Perhaps all that was left of the Order. What we didn't see was Lord Seeker Lucius. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. But the Seekers began this war against the mages. They cannot have simply vanished. There must be a trail we can follow, yet so far I have only discovered hints. But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use Lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the Lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the Lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it.
Visitor. With rifts contained in the area, we can send in smaller groups to offer relief. I agree. Are you well? A headache. Nothing more. to work.
we should look around. I could do that. The history of the Grey Wardens is fascinating. Apologies, but the quartermaster is expecting some greetings, back. Your Worship. You have any requests and you can be greeted. Something on your mind. Let's talk about the Grey Wardens. You must know a lot about them. Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. Have you been hearing the calling, too? I know what Corypheus is. He has no sway over me. Let's continue this at another time. As you wish. I'll be here if you need me. That'll do fine.
That'll do fine. Inquisition? Did you see what they did? 